Juris Vodcast with Scott Pierce. The Federal Appeals Court in Washington, D.C. has given us a real look into the Bush administration's legal approach to what it calls the War on Terror. A Chinese Muslim named Huzaifa Parhat has been in American custody for more than six years. He has never been charged with a crime. The D.C. court invalidated a finding that Mr. Parhat is an enemy combatant. The man has been in solitary confinement for years, and now it turns out that there is no evidence he ever did anything to America or Americans. The U.S. government argues that it does not know who the enemy is. Believe it or not, it is undisputed that Mr. Parhat never engaged in battle. The government claims Mr. Parhat is a member of an organization called the East Turkestan Islamic Movement. And then it claims that this organization is affiliated with Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan. The ETIM has never attacked America or Americans. The government's allegation about Al-Qaeda affiliation comes out of thin air. It is nothing more than an allegation, totally unsupported by any evidence. During the argument in this case, the chief judge quoted from Lewis Carroll's Jabberwocky, and the court made the following observation, quote, the government insists that the statements made in the documents are reliable because the state and defense departments would not have put them in intelligence documents were that not the case. This comes perilously close to suggesting that whatever the government says must be treated as true, close quote. Our prison camp in Guantanamo is an abomination, totally contrary to everything this country is supposed to stand for. It's hard to imagine any terrorist or even any foreign government doing this kind of damage to the United States of America. When I joined the State Bar of California, I took an oath to uphold the Constitution. That oath obligates me to speak out against the Nazification of America. Ours is supposed to be a republic, not a military dictatorship. Guantanamo should be closed. The real estate should be returned to Cuba with our apologies. The Castro government certainly will make far more democratic use of it than we have. Juris Vodcast is a production of Nuclear Podcasting. Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives.